Sir David Manning and Lady Manning. Prime Minister Blair now honors us as well. This is a child of democracy struggling to be born. They and we, the international community, are the midwives. You may not agree with the original decision. You may believe mistakes have been made. You may even think, how can it be worth the sacrifice? But surely we must all accept this is a genuine attempt to run the race of liberty. Hate with their poisonous propaganda that seeks to divide. And they need our support. The point is that this should be a moment of reconciliation, not only in Iraq, but in the international community. The war I know split the world. The struggle of Iraqis for democracy should unite it. In the brutal combination of secular dictatorship, I don't believe we will be secure unless Iran changes. I emphasize I am not saying we should impose change. I am simply saying that the greater freedom and democracy, which I have no doubt most Iranians want, is something we need. Yet, you know, in every country of the region, there are people, in fact, probably the majority. There is, therefore, only one way through. Clear acceptance by Hamas that the two-state solution is the only one, a renunciation of all violence, and then a move back into the roadmap with a speeded up pathway to final status negotiations. It will require heavy engagement by the United States and by the Quartet. But there is not a better time than now to break out of what is otherwise a continuing descent into despair.